Sophie Gradon. Love Island voiceover Ian Sterling shares favorite moment of late star. The Love Island beauty is believed to have been found dead at her parents' home, but her cause of death is currently unknown. Yesterday, a spokesperson for Northumbria Police told Express.co.uk, at about 8.27 p.m. yesterday, June 20, police attended a property in Medburn, Bontaland, where sadly a 32-year-old woman was found deceased. There are not believed to be any suspicious circumstances surrounding her death. A report will now be prepared for the coroner. As news broke of her death, many of the Geordie Shore cast and her Love Island co-stars flocked to Twitter to pay tribute. Ian, 30, paid his respects by posting a video of her delivering an inspirational speech to her former housemates. Sophie put the speech together after it was revealed her former co-star Zara Holland was stripped of her Miss Great Britain title, after getting intimate with co-star Alex Bowen. Speaking to the boys in the villa, she said, Life shouldn't be about judging one another. For example, judging a young woman for enjoying herself. She continued, A young woman who hasn't harmed anyone but a woman who has faced a torrent of judgmental and close-minded opinions since leaving Love Island. As an ex-Miss Newcastle and Miss GB, Great Britain, I can say that it's time people moved forward from their old-fashioned thinking and accepted the simple fact that women like to have sex. Ian posted the clip with the caption, This will forever remain one of my favorite Love Island moments. Dearest Sophie, I truly hope you are now at peace. Stay shapey x. Sick. Love Island host Carolyn Flack shared Ian's tweet with the caption, Ditto followed by a heart emoji. Sophie is remembered for being the first LGBT contestant on the show, firstly dating Tom Powell, and later moving on with Katie Salmon before leaving the villa. Ahead of last night's episode, it too paid a tribute to the late Love Islander. Viewers saw a blank black screen appear before a picture of Sophie emerged. Words under the snap read, in loving memory of Sophie Gradon. Yesterday, a representative for the show told Express.co.uk, the whole of two and Love Island team are profoundly saddened to hear the news about Sophie, and our deepest sympathies and thoughts go to her family and friends. Just days before Sophie's death, she claimed she had never felt so emotional following the death of her friend Paul Burns. After attending a funeral service for her friend earlier this month, she posted a picture of him with a heartfelt message. Sophie referred to her late friend as a true saint and said he was there for her when she needed someone. Part of the message read, Today was all about you sweetheart. What an amazing send-off for our Mr. Newcastle Paul Conrad Burns. Thank you for being there when you recognized I needed someone, you are a true saint. I only wish I had got to know you better. All my love and thoughts with your nearest and dearest.